if you're going to play with Podman, you need to install it. There's two ways you can do it. First, there's a meta package called Container Tools. And you can see, if you look at the DNF info on it, it tells you exactly, it's a meta package that contains things like Podman, Builda, Scopio, etc. This might sound confusing if you're coming from a Docker world, but these tools are alternatives to the, the things that Docker does. They're meant to integrate and give you the same experience. But if you just install Podman, you end up with just the Podman container engine. So you get the container runtime and the tools to run it. This might be a good way to do it if you're running a stripped down container host that doesn't need all the build tools and just needs the engine. That might be a way to get that. There's two different ways to get this installed. Let me clear the screen here so you can see better. Oh. If we do a DNF install on container tools, it's going to list a whole bunch of packages. Give it a moment. I wanted to call out one of these specifically, and that's Podman Docker. Podman Docker is a package that gives you interoperability with the Docker command line. And the Podman command line and the Docker command line are already really similar. With the Podman Docker package, you can issue Docker commands and it will hand them off to Podman. And we're going to show that a lot on uh, on today's show if i do a dnf install on podman it'll just get podman right one package versus a dozen or so on the other one 11. we're going to install container tools we'll add that dash y so we go ahead and get it installed i'm going to show you a couple of examples of how similar docker and podman really are i don't have docker installed just Podman. This was a clean rail box when I started the, the lab today. But if I do a Docker PS, it gives me the output you'd expect, including a warning that says you're using Podman because we don't want you to be fooled into thinking you're using Docker. If I do Podman PS, it looks identical. That's because the Docker PS command got handed off to Podman PS, right? All right, so we'll do one or two more here. We do look at Docker networks, right? Same deal. If we do Podman, I should be copying and pasting here. And there you go. You see, if we did the Docker network LS, it shows us a Podman network, right? If we do Podman network LS, it shows us a Podman network. Same deal, right? Now, if we want to get rid of this little warning up here, we just need, need to make an empty file that says no Docker inside of Etsy containers. And now if I do Docker commands, it'll just execute them without that warning. If you're like, yes, I know I'm not using Docker, you can stop warning me. That's how you turn that off.